Yo. 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 Some of y'all do not know who this man in the corner is. That is our boy Kenny. Kenny, say what's up, bro. It's been a minute. What's up, y'all? What's up, subscribers? Radical yeah. Soul, my homies right here, Advent listener. Um, love y'all podcasts. Love y'all little videos y'all do. I got. I always gotta get my daily dosage of my boys, you know. Yo, we appreciate gotta, this, bro. Gotta we represent. Rep- rep- we gotta represent. Respect my boys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> For y'all that don't know, Radical Soul. I was gonna say. Right, Kenny hit me up this week. He was like, "Yo," he was like, "I gotta get my radical souls in." So if you're listening, you know what I'm saying, you an avid supporter. For those who are, just tap in with one of us. You know, we can get on. We can just talk, sit here, and talk shit as we do. So it's no exactly. problem. Exactly. Exactly. Word. But I'm Daniel. I'm Chris. Nathan and guest starring, like you said, Kenny. And be like him and subscribe and listen to us. Facts, bro. Kenny, please do. Kenny was please here do. when this started. He was here when we did the fantasy league. We did it a second year. He came in second place. I just have to throw that out there. Um, you know, it's I right. came in, and I came in second again. <laughs> Two years in a row. <laughs> it is against you and freaking Chris. Chris is a little bit different because he's family, but <laughs> damn it, Chris, you effed me over, bro. Well, you know what I'm saying. Oh gosh, here we talent. Go. You know what I'm saying overcomes all sort of luck. In the picks that I picked, and, you know the few trade, and I, I took I took one out of your book. You know, not to go into fantasy football, but I remember a couple years back there was this old wise man that once told me. He said, "Yo, don't make too many trades." He said, "Just stick with your picks." I stuck with my picks, and you know what I'm saying that worked out for me. Yeah, it did work out for me at one point, but it didn't work out for me in the fucking final. <laughs> <laughs> but Fuck you, Chris. to pivot here a little bit, you see the Yankee gear, you know what I'm saying? It's a green uh, Yankee hat. You know what green means. We're going to be talking about little Yankee money. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't heard the news, as I say, you've probably been living under a rock. So then we're going to be talking Yankees. What else are we going to be talking about, bro? So Kenny, for the people that don't know, is a Jets fan. I'm a Jets fan. I wanted to see Kenny's take on what he wants the Jets to do with the number four pick and the number 10 pick. Because I have some opinions, but, you know, y'all know me. I, I, I'm a little delusional sometimes. Maybe Kenny talks some sense to me. And I just... But let's start with Aaron Judge. Let's please do. Because, like, this Aaron Judge thing, like, bonkers. Yeah. Like, okay, like, this is your walkout year. I understand. Like, you want your payday, but, like, my guy. Last year was your first full healthy season. Don't count 2020 because it was only six <coughs> games. 2019, you only played, like, one game. And, like, 2018, you had, like, a broken pinky. And you didn't play for, like, 100 games. Like, that's my thing with Aaron Judge. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong because I know I have two Yankee fans here. Right? Yeah. So it's just like, all right, are the Yankees willing to spend X amount of money for somebody that could be injury prone? And I was cycling, no. and I was telling this to Chris as well that like I feel like he's gonna be like AD. You give him the money, he's not gonna play. <laughs> no, I agree. I agree. And Dan is my <laughs> witness. You could be whatever great Yankee, and if it is real, it is real. I've been saying let's trade. Uh, what's this guy's name? Uh, Gary Sanchez for like three seasons now. I'm going to switch my pivot over to Aaron Judge now. If you got to trade him midseason, you got to get rid of him. Get some prospects, get some pitchers, get as much value as you can out of him. Because if he wants more than 35 mil a year or whatever they were giving him, that 230, so, which. It was a 70 so what were the thirty. It was supposed to be okay. 30 and a half million. He was supposed to get 17 and a half this year because of arbitration, and they're going to give him an yeah. additional 13 on top because of the contract extension. So it's going to be like 30 mil a year. You That's look at the crazy. top outfielders, like a Mike Trout, which he ain't Mike, Mike Trout, Trout is at 35 right now, right? And he yeah. had to sign a 13-year contract. But but look at Mike Trout. How, how healthy is Mike Trout stay? Ethan knows. Ethan yeah. knows firsthand because he had him in a fantasy league one year. How healthy could Mike Trout stay? He played maybe a little under half the season, like that year. All right, yeah. so like, but okay, so but here's my thing. As a fan, as an own, okay, let's put our differences aside. As a fan, we want to see our, these players be with our teams for X amount of time. 
Yeah. But yeah. realistically, as a as an owner, why spend millions of dollars on like ten plus years for something to happen? Like, don't get me wrong, I'm a Mets fan. Like the whole Lindor trade and the whole Lindor signing was like, all right, cool. Like now we have the person, the the the, the piece, guy who's gonna the piece, the face of the yeah. franchise for the next ten years. But it's just like, all right, bro. Like this is the year you have to prove it. That's it. And it's going to go on until then. And that's the thing with Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge has been the face of the team ever since. They haven't had the face of the team ever since Jeter left in 2014. Realistically, they haven't had the face. Aaron Judge is the face. So, like, it's either Aaron Judge has to be, be like, a Yankee for life and find a way to be healthy, or I don't know. I'm just saying that, to me, that shit is ridiculous. So what, what, yeah. one of the teams that people have been talking about, Kenny, is the Mets because you guys love to spend money, as we've seen with uh, Steve Cohen. Would you be down for Aaron, for Aaron Judge? That's a question for you and Ethan since y'all are both Mets fans. Well, the thing is that with I think Aaron Judge will – okay, for what the Mets need, Aaron Judge fits. What the Mets don't want is to spend are you gonna money. Pay, I was just going to say you're going to pay him that much, though? Exactly. So, like, here's my thing, like, why spend X amount of money for what is what is Moneyball? Like, what's the the they don't they all go by numbers. They all go by like what's the what's the key word? What's the word analytics. that they always use? The analytics. Analytics. Yeah. analytics. Thank you. There you go. Analytics. They always go by analytics. So an, analytics, like for the Mets, Aaron Judge doesn't fit them. Uh, like Brandon Nimmo fits them, and like that's why they did all these signings that weren't like big signings. So an Aaron Judge in the Mets, it's not. It sounds beautiful, but it's not realistic or it's not analytically perfect for us. Yeah. You know? And I mean, I, I, this is just the, not to shift the conversation at all, but like how, how much do you think these past big contracts play into the way baseball negotiations go from here forward? Because you got to look at it from here on out. Tell me 10 years ago where you having these conversations. <clears throat> Tell me any big player you knew growing up. Did you know what the oh. hell their contract was and how much they were making? I think the only person I knew and they were decent after the contract was A Rod, but he was and yeah, that. he was like the first one. He had to be like the first, first one growing one. up that I remember getting paid like super big bucks and everybody was talking about it. And mm-hmm. that was like a oh first one, you know, oh crap, you know, this guy's getting paid X amount of dollars. Let's put so many eyes on him and you know, let's pay attention to what he does. And he became a strikeout machine after he got that contract. But that's a different topic for a different time. But I feel like the to weigh in just a different aspect of baseball, do you think we're going down that alley of, like, you get a good couple of years and you want Mike Trout money. You want, you know, you and want the, that kind of money. Like, you're going to want 30-plus a year. The problem is the structure. Because, remember, that's why they went into this lockout. Because if you're yeah. in college and you get to the MLB, they own your rights and they try to keep you until you're 30. And then, you know, you have a Jacob DeGrom, for example, who kills it. And it's like, yo, you're 30. I'm not giving you that type of contract. You're in your 30s already. Like, it's a dub. Yeah. Same thing with Aaron Judge and same thing with others. Me personally, think me personally, honestly, what Trevor Bauer and Mad Max did, Max Scherzer did with their contracts with the Mets and the Dodgers, it is going to be the future of contracts. Why? You opt out one season in, two seasons in, you get 43 to $42 million a year, and you only sign a three-year contract. That's contracts owners want to sign. They don't want to, like, invest, like, 10, 12 years. I'm afraid Fernando Tatis, after, like, his fifth season, he's, he's, a, he's, he's young. He's still, he's still got, like, the – he's going up there. Yeah, he's a baby. Well, yeah, but when but you it, climax, that shit can go. Look at damn. the risk. Look at the risk that you're putting on yourself, though. Bro, Just think bro. about that. Think about like it like seven, this. eight years down the road. I feel like that's the cap. Like you got to give some a good player so, cap of like seven right years, there? bro. Who's that right Yo, there? Yo, I have his jersey. I have it. I I literally have. His, I looked at it when I put this on. It's funny that you bring him up. I looked at his jersey and I was like, Nah, I ain't gonna put that on. And it was the World Series jersey with the patch and the inaugural patch. And I was like, You know what? That shit's gonna. Bro, stay. could you imagine? <laughs> A few years ago, somebody telling, like, I remember the, oh, yo, as Yankee fans, we were so pissed. We were like, yo, they should have resigned him. What the hell? Yo, he got suspended for PEDs not once but twice, and he fell off a cliff when he was with the Mariners. Don't tell yep. me anything there, please. Thank you. Yep. I mean, he, e, what you know, you, what now you he's think? with the mutts. He, e, he's sitting. Do you, <laughs> e, do you he's think there's a transition right into, like, the basketball stuff where it's, like, four years, five years, three years, and it won't be that 10-year contract stuff in a few years? 
It's hard to say. I mean, like, we see Patrick Mahomes get a ten year contract in football now, so. But I, mean, I feel like, like fo- I feel like football is completely different, though. Go ahead. Yeah. And- no, because like Mahomes is the only one with the big contract. Like no one ever had a ten year contract other than Mahomes. Like even starting out, like no wide receiver, no running back, no quarterback. Like the ma- the max is I think it was five or six, but ten years is like a new thing for the NFL. And like yeah. going back to like the baseball, like after seeing like Bryce Harper do like a thirteen year, three hundred thirty mil contract, like that's ridiculous to me. And the crazy part about that Bryce Harper contract, bro, you have a no trade call or you can't opt out of your contract. So your bitch ass has to play your 13 <laughs> years in Philly. Yeah. So no matter what, like, it's, it's either he's good. He's going to get paid his money, right? No matter if he fucks up in the next X amount of years, in those 13 years, but, like, who's going to get bit in the ass is the Phillies who are going to be paying a player at the moment X amount of money. So that's why, like, I think the Max Scherzer, Trevor Bauer deals that happened um, last Actually. year and or last year and this year are going to be the future of of, fo- of contracts for veterans, for people yeah. that have already been established like seven, eight, nine years, and they have like the stardom of of them, you know. So, yeah. So let me ask: for, What should the Yankees do? Should we tell him, yo, we'll give you X amount of money again and see what happens, or do we not even take the chance and just trade him right now? Honestly, bro. Everybody take a shot at this. Honestly, I'll, I'll say first, as a, as a Mets fan and as a Yankee hater, and I'm going to the Yankee game tomorrow, but I'm not wearing no bull socks, no Mets. I'm going to resent mi gente, fucking Roberto Clemente. What they got to do with Aaron Judge, sign his ass for one year, give him this 40, years, $40 million. If he plays bad, trade his ass. That's it. Easy peasy. You get fucking prospects. You sign him for one year. That's it. It's over. If he doesn't want that, bye bye cha cha. Like how I say. Yeah, I, I don't. I, you know, I don't even oppose to that. I was I was ready to jump the gun, and I was gonna ship him out tomorrow. I was going. You know, you want to go play somewhere else? You know, for the rest of the season, go play your contract year with somebody else. Maybe they'll give you the money at the end of the season. Give me all the prospects y'all got. Give me whatever hot pitcher you got coming out of AAA. I'll take them. But that's not a bad idea either. If you can give him 40 mil for a year or two, get the, you know, squeeze the juice out of him. And then, you know what I'm saying? That sounds so bad. I'd be a Jerry Jones ass Jones <laughs> as owner. But, yo, e, yo e, what, what do you, do you think? think? Oh, we'd ship him out. He said he's ready to talk to all 30 teams. He's ready to leave. He's ready to not take the money. Like, Yankees offered him 225 mil. He said no. He's ready to talk to every single team in the MLB and, and the thing NFL is- and the NBA. And I got a side question to that. So, like, now that he said he's talking to 30 teams or he's going to talk to all 30 teams at the end of the season, you as an owner, how do you perceive that? Are you just, like – I personally would hit up his agent and be like, yo, give me a list of teams he wants to go to that he realistically will resign with, and I'm going to see what happens. If you can get somebody decent – I, you have to pull the trigger, bro. If he walks away for nothing, and this is the best prospect, the best star, the best overall player we've had in a long time, it's going to put the Yankees back a good, like, four years because we're my, stuck in stop guys. My think, okay, my thing with the Yankees, and for the X amount of years that I've hated the Yankees, they've always lived with that thing of we're going to sign and give a baseball player X amount of years, give him X amount of million dollars, and never pan out. <laughs> Right, yeah, Jacoby, Ells, Jacoby Ellsbury, fucking all these, all these people that Aaron they signed. Aaron Hicks, Aaron Hicks, Hicks. they signed last CJ. year. He struggled last year. So oh, like man. that's so that's the thing. Like Yankees run the risk, and like they, it's like a domino effect. It's like all right, he does good these X amount of seasons. All right, let's sign him to a big deal. Luis Severino trash. hasn't been able to stay healthy at all. Well, I mean, signed him. Well, I mean, I mean that's a different thing because he's a prospect. He wasn't really a signing. Right, oh, I'm talking about like free agent, and he's. Oh, yeah, and yeah, you yeah, think yeah. of it like how how big Aaron Judge is, like he's worldwide known. Like oh, Yankee player Aaron Judge, like he's worldwide known. Right, it's like Mike Trout. Like Mike Trout is the face of baseball right now. Damn. Right. So like it's completely different. That's my thing. That's what the domino effect for the Yankees are. It's Yankees always live that risk of we're gonna sign a good big contract, and then they're gonna run the risk of like oh they're slowly declining, and they're afraid of that. 
That's why they don't want to give him the thing. That's why I said sign him to a one or two year deal each year. Give him 42, 43. And if he doesn't pan out and he wants to be out, then trade his ass and get whatever you can get for him. Because if bound, there's always going to be a team wanting players. Of course. Bro, like, it, I, I think, <clears throat> Kenny, now that you bring that up, I think that's the safest route. Give him three years with a ridiculous amount of money and just be like, yo, here, we'll give you that. I know you want the long term. If it works out, we'll give you another three years after that. But I, I don't think he wants that. I think he just wants the years. I think he wants the years. I, I think the, the seven years, because imagine he's hitting 30. He's like 29 and a half now. If they're going to give him seven years, you know, till he's almost. Robbing him all these yeah. years because he was on that rookie. Contract. They were. Yo, he, he, he was on that contract where I think at max he made like Bro, the five, first 600. Like, yeah, the first year was a like year. 800K. The second year was like two mil. And now it's getting. No, nah, it was seven. less than that, bro. It was less. I could pull it up. Hold on, I got right, it. Bro. I was just looking at it. It's it's ridiculous, bro. Now, like now, now because he's a Yankee, but he's ungrateful. He got paid eight hundred thousand to play baseball. I'm over here working forty <laughs> hours a week, and I'm nah. getting paid X. Wait, hear, the, hear, the hear this out, out bro. You, first ball. year, first Easy. year, it was one hundred and forty-one k. Next year, yo, rookie of the year. Uh, silver Slugger, half a mil, 500,000, 600,000, 600,000. He didn't really start making money until 2020 where he made three mil. And now this year he's making 10 mil. Nice. So he has been getting robbed until this year. So, but this year, granted, last year, well, no, last year. He made 10 mil last year. He's making 17 this year. So. I think, I think. He's making. uh, Me, realistically, I think he goes back to the Yankees and the Yankees will give him his years, because the Yankees will always want to bring back their players. And they're going to do what he wants. But realistically, if you want to be smart about your franchise and your future, just sign his ass to two to three years and give him X amount of money. But you know he's not going to. He's he's, he's not. He's, he hasn't he's not. Bread. He wants them eight years, bro. <clears throat> see, you guys are going through it at the match with the grub. Where I don't it's, Y también con, um, what's his name? Carlos Correa. Carlos Correa signed a three-year deal for like 120-something with the Twins. He didn't want to go to the Twins. He wanted to go to the Astros. He wanted to go to Contender. He knows the Twins ain't trash. What the Twins did, the, what the Twins Rogers. did, the Twins did is smart. You know why? They signed him to a three-year deal. Hey, we have no competition. We have no chance to make in the playoffs. What are we going to do? Trade his ass. That's what the Yankees should do. It's plain and simple. Right. Signed him to well, a three years. Bro, it's it's Same. it's gonna it's gonna be interesting, and we're gonna go to his game tomorrow. This might be the last time that we see Aaron Judge in the Yankee uniform in person. No, I don't think so. That's, that's gonna be that's it's, he's he's gonna play the season. season All right, one. so final final prediction is Aaron Judge a Yankee next year? Yes. yes. No. No. <laughs> no. Yes. Yes, no. No. I say yes. I'm gonna say yes. I think they're gonna sign him in the middle of the year to some crazy ass contract for eight years, and we're gonna come back to this episode a few years down the line and be like, wow, we were 100 percent right. Yeah, I say yes. All right. uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a good proponent, a, a big proponent of prospects. Give me all the prospects you got. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, I can you tell you can have it. Aaron Judge. And you guys have a plethora of prospects, but ain't no pitching prospects. <laughs> what happened? You guys have a plethora of prospects, but ain't no pitching prospects. Isn't it funny how the Mets find all the pitchers in the world? The Yankees can't find one. The Yankees find that's the case every year. The Mets can never find a position player. Yeah, facts. But we'll, well leave it there at that conversation because we're gonna have to, like this is gonna be it's game one of one sixty one. Got like left. God knows what's gonna happen the next. Can we talk about how great one. that game was though for an opening day game? Not just for two seconds. No, it was, that was, it was a amazing. wonderful game. Like it was literally eighth eighth inning to tenth inning. Boston scored one, Yankees scored one. Boston scored one, Yankees scored one. Leave two men on base, leave bases loaded. It was a great game. So I didn't, didn't, I didn't catch. I didn't watch it. I, I caught the Mets game last night. That game was pretty good. Can't even front. Yeah. Yo, I don't know if my ass just missed baseball, but that game was great. Listen, I would agree. I'm glad baseball's back. Can't wait to see this game tomorrow. Um, Again, Kenny, we're going to be talking Jets, bro. So, you know, these guys, Ethan's a Bengals fan. Who cares? Chris, I mean, I don't know what fan he, he Giants. Oh, we just wow. made it to the Super Bowl. What do you mean? Who do we care? <laughs> because, like, we <laughs> no. know why I made it to the Super Bowl, bro. Let's keep it a stack. He's coming, coming for you, bro. Mahomes. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. He's coming for you, bro. He's coming for you, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm just a hater. Because I got Jamar Chase. You know, I wanted him. I said we should have drafted him. 
whatever. But here yeah, we're talking about again. the Jets, but the Giants got two, you know, top ten picks. Let me just put that out there. But we <laughs> affect everything that happens to you guys because we have. Hey, four picks. I guess. Me, what, what do you want to be done with these four and five picks? Four and five, four and ten. Four and ten. We we got the fifth. I think, honestly, I do. Offensive line. <laughs> I would like a whiteout, but in a sense, what whiteout in the top 10 picks in the last 10 years have been successful? Name me one. The only person so far, and this is like so far, wow. this is year one, Jamar Chase. And even then, we still need to see what happens next. So, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you haven't had a whiteout since probably, like, Megatron that's been that impactful for a team for us, for somebody to draft a whiteout in the first round. Or in the first round, first round in the first top ten picks. For me, I think it's definitely defense. Uh, has to be has to be a safety or a cornerback because the 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 eyes, the eagles, the eagle eyes of Adams not being there really failed us as which, a team, which I don't as mind. a defense. Which I don't mind either. It worked out too, but like. He just carried that, like, defense. Like, you knew like, that she was, like, tough. We sucked, but it was tough with that yeah. defense. So, for me, it has to be defense first. Jets have always been defense-oriented in their first couple picks. Um, probably O-line as well. I wideouts, you, wideouts, you can always get them everywhere no matter what. But I feel like a wideout, the quarterback makes them. Not the wideout themselves. Yeah. It's the quarterback that makes them. I'm going to throw some out there, though. So you said you said backfield, you said safety. The the kid from Notre Dame is like Kyle Hamilton. The, yeah, he's the only good safety that's in the first round. But you're not gonna go and give up your fourth round pick for him. Do you trade back? I mean, do you, do you get some more picks? Me personally, I love Kayvon Thibodeau. Y'all know I've been talking about this kid for a minute now. I think that the whole thing of oh he's not motivated, bro. When you're a dog and you're dogging everybody in front of you, you get bored. This kid is going to get put on his ass by Makai Becton and Elijah Vera Tucker, and he's going to be like, oh, shit, hold up. This isn't, this isn't college no more. I've drafted Kayvon Thibodeau with the fourth, and if we really – like Kenny said, if we really need a safety, I'll trade back. If not, I'm taking Sauce Gardner at that time. Nah. Kayvon Thibodeau is, like, legit, though. That's, like – he's a off the edge, like – He's good. Yeah. He's good. And the other kid too from Michigan that's projected uh, to go Hutchinson? Aiden Hutchinson, yeah. He's wait, another he, edge that wait, isn't he projected to go literally number one? Yeah. Yeah. I think right. so, yeah. They're like yeah. one and two. They're flipping flopping between them two, depending on I don't know. I but, don't know. I just feel like the Jets need to they need they need it's it's definitely the backfield and definitely the O line. Cause like at the end of the day, like what makes a great I've always said it. I've always been a proponent to it. What wins a championship is a defense. And that happened when the, the Denver Broncos lost against the Seahawks. It was a pure defensive game by the Seahawks. And half of these Super Bowls were all defensively. So, like, one defensively. So, in a sense, it's like build a great defense and then you can build a great yeah, offense. Ethan, Ethan knows firsthand that uh, great defenses win Super Bowls. Mm, I don't know about that so much. <laughs> Because Eli Apple was getting cooked every game. But, uh, Yo, you know it was like, bad if the Giants got rid of him. So, I don't know why y'all picked him up. but I don't know why y'all re signed him. And y'all re-signed him. Horrible decision. Yeah. Wait, you guys re-signed him? him? Oh, yeah. hell for, no. For another year. For another year. Nothing yeah, crazy. for another year. Yeah. I mean, yeah. e, we're talking corners here. Should the should the, the Bengals find a way of trying to trade up and get a corner? We got a, We signed a lot in the O line, so I think we should focus on defense. But to trade up, I don't know. I don't think it's necessary because we're still young. Yeah, and I'll talk about the Giants anyway, so no one's gonna ask. Um, I think I think the Giants go O line with those two picks. I mean, oh, but, okay, not to shit on the Giants or anything, which I'm gonna shit on the Giants, which I always do. I don't care. You guys always pick O line, and the O line came out trash. They, but you gotta keep shooting until. The shit you gotta, you know what I'm saying. You, you gotta, gotta keep, keep shooting, shooting your shot. The, you know what I'm saying. Keep shooting your shot. I understand. That's what they need. Is they need offense alignment. They need defense alignment. You need the fundamentals. We don't even have fundamentals right now. Okay, so let me ask you a question. You're really gonna give Daniel Jones another chance? 
Are you going to go out and get the kid from Pitt? I don't think you should draft a quarterback, period, in this draft if you're the Giants. That's what I'm saying. Like, are you, that, that's the only thing. That's the only, like, quarterback use you can go get is, like, maybe the kid from Pitt. But, like, no. For what you st- for that, you stick with Aaron, uh, whatever his name is. Um, Daniel Jones. <laughs> Daniel Jones. I don't even want to know his name. That's how yeah, bad he, was he is. Gonna, he was going to say Aaron Judge. I was going to say Aaron. Yeah, I was going to say Aaron Judge. <laughs> but, yeah, might as well, nah. Hey, if Aaron Judge is trying to get that money, you might as well just go for the Giants <laughs> and the Yankees. Shit. Yo, shit. <laughs> But, nah, I think you got to – we don't even have the basics, bro. We don't even have a good old line. We don't have a good D-line. Like, we've we've tried to work the outsides in. We've tried to go out. And, I mean, it kind of worked with, with Saquon, but you got an old line. All right. You picked the na- – you literally picked my brain right now because it was a que- – this is a question I have, I have personal for you right now that just came up to my head. This is Saquon's technically last year because he's on his rookie contract. Yeah. If it's not successful this year for him, does he walk away? I think would more. Be, would, you, would you be surprised if he walks away? Nah, I wouldn't be surprised. But that's like the lifespan of a running back, though, in the NFL. Are you going to give him another five-year contract? Or whatever the case may be, a, the three- or four-year contract? Maybe I'd give him a two- to three-year contract. Pay him, you know, give him his money, pay him a little bit. But you're not going to give him a five or six year contract with a running okay. back. Like that's not the way it's going to work out. And I think more he walks away to look for that contract like that. For me, I think when it comes up to running backs, when you're you sign a big contract, I feel like you slowly declined. Yeah, yeah. Christian McCaffrey, right? yeah. Alvin Kamara, Dalvin Cook. Uh, um, who else? Who else? Who else? David Johnson, Zeke. who used Zeke. to be on the count on the Cardinals. Zeke. Zeke. Aaron Jones couldn't stay healthy that much this year. Well, he's always been having injury problems, but. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, he did good in, hey, 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 he did good in fantasy football. He was my running back. I need you to relax. He did good. <laughs> nah, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Jones is pretty good, bro. Like, I, like, but he's one of the rare running backs that hit that certain milestone in their career where they come off that rookie contract, they get into, like, I, f- I feel like those are the running backs, like, grind years. Like, that year, like, four, five, three, four, five, like, you got to really prove yourself because tell me how many running backs are coming out of college that could do the same thing you do and Michael probably Carter. do it 20 times better. <laughs> Unless Michael, you're Frank Gore. Michael Carter about to be the next Alvin Kamara. Call it right now. <laughs> but I feel like that's the, that's, that's the, that's the, the beauty and like the ugliness of a, a running back. Cause literally any kid out of, out of college can do it and do it better than you. And, you know, if they could squat 600 pounds, they could be a power running back and look at, shove themselves down the middle. Like, look at Melvin Gordon. They picked up they, Dante Williams, and he's an afterthought now. Yeah. Look, yeah. What's – yeah. Taylor, another one. Look at Devontae Freeman, bro. Devontae Freeman three years ago was the man. Who is he now? Like Todd Gurley, another one. Yeah. Uh, he's uh, bye-bye, Chow Chow. He's done. Love you, it's, it's, it's the sad – Sad, you know, beauty of the position because you know if you're not if you're not good after them that span of years you're done. That's it. So if the Giants go back to your question, if the Giants wanna, you know, what I'm saying, or he wants to say, you know, peace out, peace out, my brother. You know, what I'm saying? We'll, we'll find another running back. It'll be alright. Nah, Chris, you gotta go back to your uh, your usual GM weight. Yo, trade his ass. Anything and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Why not? No, I don't. I don't. I don't think they'll trade him. I don't. I don't think so. I think they. I don't that's think your, that's that's your most valuable asset right now. You're not trading Kenny Galladay. I don't. Who the hell's gonna want Kenny Galladay? Who the hell I told wants you him? Inside, dude. That'd be some shit. That'd be a trade the Jets would want. Honestly. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. We, we <laughs> I'm good too. But that'd be... <laughs> we almost had Tyree Kill, bro. I don't think they're gonna make some crazy trade. Which let's ask you, Kenny, about that because I know we talked about that. Uh, what would you Tyree, take on that? Tyree Kill will not be the same. Sorry. And <laughs> end point. He's not gonna be the same. Ah, dumb, fantasy, dumb fantasy points are going to go from 40 oh, not, to, like, bro. literally five points, bro. Ain't going to be the same. Yeah. God. You will never catch me dropping him again. No, he's not. I <laughs> Like I said previously, the quarterback makes the wide receiver. He was a – he was not a first-round pick. He so, you're picking up Juju pick. this year? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Yo, you never – okay, but, like – I would. Think, I would debate about it because him and Travis Kelsey could be a nice duel. Oh, like old, old jokes aside, saying, old joke. No, no. If you think about it, bro, like okay, like <laughs> Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill is like he's a beast. He's the cheetah. But like you became the cheetah and you became successful because of the quarterback you have. Yeah. So called the greatest quarterback to probably ever live in our history, right? So it's just like 
who knows? But I know for a fact it ain't going to be the same. He's not going to be the same player. You don't got to look that far. Look at Odell Beckham. He went for Baker Mayfield when somebody here, I'm not going to name names, just talk about Odell washed, Odell this, Odell that, changes quarterbacks to go to Matthew Stafford, who has a fucking cannon, and Odell Beckham became almost a Super Bowl MVP if he doesn't tear his ACL in that game. The one, the one, okay, literally the only transaction of the NFL season I'm actually pretty excited about is Devontae Adams and the Raiders. That's going to be the reason. The yeah. reason. The Facts. reason why is because you have David Carr and Devontae Adams back together again after Fresno State after nearly nine, eight, ten years of not playing with each other, and and them them being pull bowlers and being successful and like the success that the Raiders had last year. That's what they're missing. That's what they were missing. And you add them to Darren Waller. And maybe this helps Josh Jacobs wake up again Wall- and become a running back. Waller, again? Waller the baller, yes, <laughs> yes. The person that you that... loved Kenny two years ago in fantasy, and we're here <laughs> talking so much about him. That's my boy. That was the man that won me the championship. He, he dragged <laughs> me through the whole season. Chris, 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 Chris. I really do hope the Yankees lose tomorrow. I won't be. No. I won't be. I won't be. I won't be cheering. Oh, that's not nice. But I'll be with nice. my I would be with my jersey. I have a question though. To What's flip it? it though. What's up? What is how do you guys perceive Derek Carr with all these assets around him? If he can't get this, this done, he's 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 screwed. There you go. Danny, thank you for telling for saying it. Thank you. I was gonna say because the excuse was that he uh-huh. did you know, he didn't have that many good pieces around him and you know, midway through the season we all saw what happened. But, you know, I'm not a believer in Derek Carr. Never really have been. So I think getting all these assets around him hopefully helps him out. But let's hope he doesn't fuck it up I mean, either. He, he was an MVP at one point. Let's not forget that. Considered MVP. Yeah, yeah. Considered, like, yeah, yeah I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> he was in the MVP race at one point. And, you know, getting Devontae Adams, let's see. I mean, let's see. Like Kenny said, the, the quarterback makes the receiver. Hopefully this works out between the two. But. I hey, think. I won't. Hey, I won't be surprised if my my I call him my papa, a a Ron, fucking finds a new fucking receiver and makes him look like God or something, he, right? He like I won't does. be surprised if he does that shit. Alan Lazard is gonna look like a a Ron. receiver, <coughs> right? So no, like, he I won't is. Be surprised. I he is, Lazard. and we had that conversation when that whole debacle happened. I think I think Lazard's gonna look great. I think he's gonna be a number one. He's gonna be a number. He's gonna. Shine as he should have been shining, because if he would have been on any any other team, I think Alan Lazar would have been an All Star, you know, Pro Bowler by now. But he was behind Devontae Adams, so that's how that well, goes. Let me ask. Let me ask this question, right? Because me, you, and E were on here talking about MVS and <coughs> for the Chiefs. Does MVS make an impact on the Chiefs? E, you're shaking your head. Yes, bro. What, what's what's your reasoning behind this? But what's gonna happen here? Now you have Kelsey as one. You have Juju like, causing some type of impact towards the defense. So, all you have is MBS. He's a beast. Like, what he did with the Packers with Al Lazard and Devontae, Devontae. he got the ball. So, I think he's yeah. going to be a monster sleeper during the season. Yeah. He's going to be their secret weapon. He's a secret weapon. Yeah. And, I mean, he was, he, he was nasty in Green Bay. Like, say same – I'd say probably the same thing I said about him, I'd say about Lazard, so – Word. But we're going to have to see what happens in this draft, bro. I think this draft is going to be the deciding factor for a lot of these teams because this draft is actually wild when you look at it with all the talent they have on defense and the offensive line. And you got some sleeper wide receivers like a Drake London who they're comparing to Plaxico Birds and Mike Evans. <laughs> all I got to say is the Giants better not draft a wide receiver. I'm tired of seeing them draft a wide bro, receiver. Bro, if, if they draft Everything. a wide receiver, Chris, we're not talking Everything for a week. We can't talk <laughs> Bro. Yo, I said O line D line. If they don't, if they, if they don't do that, I might just have to fully convert to a Tampa Bay Bucks fan. Oh gosh, you said fully convert. Wow. <laughs> I just want to hear y'all I'm reaction. I'm mad that he. I just want to hear y'all reaction. So, so he claims. <laughs> so whatever, yo man. All right, hold All on. Right. Well, I'm gonna ask y'all a question real quick. Who do y'all have for the NBA Finals? Can tell you who ain't gonna be there. <laughs> LeBron. 
right, all right, all right. Suns. I got Suns. You got Suns. Oh. Suns and who? Who's going to be in the final? Not to win the final, but who's going to be in the final? That's the question. I guess I'll go back to Bucks. Suns, Bucks. That's so basic, but I'm going to go Suns, Bucks. Suns win, though. I said this a few weeks ago. This is going to sound crazy, but it is what it is. I said Warriors heat. I think the Warriors get rolling right before the finals in the playoffs. They get rolling. Steph Curry hops back in. Klay Thompson's there. They kill. And I think Miami, after knocking out Brooklyn in the first round, if they do, they'll be like, yo, we can take down anybody. Let's get it rolling. E, who you got? E? I, got I got Nuggets and 76ers. Just throw like a, a curveball in there. I like that. I like that. That's a pretty good one. I would agree. I would, I would, yeah. That would be wild. And Bead and, and Joker. And Bead. Yeah. It would be wild. It's a good one. Okay. What you got? I think I'm gonna go Warriors and um, Warriors and Bucks. I like it, Kenny. Warriors like and Bucks. You want me and Kenny get along so well, bro? <laughs> Warriors yeah. and Bucks, just because uh, Giannis is gonna turn it up in the playoffs. Rapid and, fire. And Chef Curry is gonna be with his boys. That's one Rap- championships. So yeah. I like it. I like it. Rapid fire. We got a minute thirty. Word. Yo, Kenny, thank you again for coming, bro. We appreciate Always. it. Always. You're definitely, definitely going to hear from us again after the draft. Just, just know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, just shoot me yeah, just shoot me a, a message, bro. I'll hop on. We'll make some time, and that's it. It's over. We it's might have over. to make this like a – we have to. We might have to make this like a little special appearance whenever something big happens. We're like, yo, the Kenny, you know what I'm saying? We're going to have to name it something. You know what I'm saying? We won't come up with a name once Kenny comes on the show. It's like the Roach Bomb when he drops a tweet. It's just like Kenny when he drops, comes in for yeah, it's Yeah, it's going to be like the Ken Bomb, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> love it. Love it. We talk about everything. There we go. But yo, there we go. There but we go. I, would, I, would appre- I appreciate you guys having me on. Um, I'm an avid listener, bro. You got to respect my boys. Uh, support y'all since day one. Of course, I'm part of the, the Radical Souls Fantasy Football, so I got to represent. I got I to gotta show some love to my boys. Yo, much appreciated. Glad to see y'all. Peace. Later, dogs.